Hello my friends. Constructing the dome ceiling we need to manufacture a circular framework and this is done by building a form that you can laminate sheets of plywood to form the arch that's going to create the circle. The bending jig that I'm making will be large enough to bend an arc that's one-fourth of the complete circle. Here I'm making support brackets out of three-quarter inch plywood. I'm getting two brackets out of a six by six inch piece of wood. These brackets, uh, when they're finished, I need eight of them. Uh, these will support the form that's going to create the arc. I would recommend using plywood for these brackets versus uh, standard lumber. Uh, lumber you would have the grain issue to deal with. You need to have strength in two directions with these brackets. The plywood will give you that. The standard lumber uh, with the grain issue it will have a weakness and tendency to split if uh, pressure is in the wrong direction. I'm using a sheet of plywood as the base of the jig and the brackets that I just made is laid on an arc that was scribed on this sheet of plywood. Mark the location of each of these brackets on the plywood so that we can reference them later. With the brackets traced onto the plywood locate two holes, two, two marks for drill holes uh, for each of the brackets. Now drill all of these marks that you had located. Use a construction adhesive on each of these uh, footprint locations. Then we will run the screws in from the other underside. With the construction adhesive, two screws should be more than enough to secure these permanently. By having pre-drilled these holes, we have no problem hitting the center of these brackets each time. With the brackets in place, we're ready to laminate the form. I'm using two sheets of quarter inch plywood cut six inches wide. I'm going to glue the two together and it should make a half inch uh, backbone to this form. Mayonnaise jar. Use construction adhesive on each of these support brackets. Start attaching this uh, laminated uh, plywood at one end and 
work uh, progressively down to the other end, allowing the top sheet of plywood to slide slightly over the underside one. Secure the plywood to each support bracket with two screws. I'm putting a layer of cellophane tape over the top edge of the form. <clears throat> this is what I do to keep glue from sticking to my forms. I'm using a heat gun and a cheap candle. You can see the wax melting, sucks right into the wood. Uh, when this is all done, any of the glue will not stick. It works wonderful. I'm preparing to do my first glue up of the first arc. Uh, I'm using six inch wide strips of plywood and they're quarter inch uh, thick and four of them will give me a one inch uh, thick board. When you apply the glue, spread it out evenly and use enough glue so that when you apply some clamping pressure, you'll have glue oozing out of the joint of the woods. Repeat this gluing procedure for each sheet of plywood. I have the center of the gluing jig marked for its location and then I'm locating the center of the plywood that I'm going to bend and my clamping for this starts at the middle so I align the two uh, marks up. Shoe clamps work really well with th this type of glue up. To use a shoe clamp, adjust the width of the back end of the clamp first. Set that at the, the proper dimension and then that will allow you to slip the clamp onto the workpiece and adjust pressure and it should be uh, very parallel. The two jaws should be very parallel and provide an even pressure. Now bend these boards to the end of the jig and lightly clamp the end. 
we want to do this with both sides and then start all the glue up clamping pressure from the center working outward. Make sure that you use enough clamps that uh, you'll see glue oozing through the entire glue up strip. That's all my clamps. Let's see what we got here. Just three more of them to make. When gluing up your quarter arc, make them slightly oversized so that you can trim the ends to square them and uh, cut it to the exact length. Here you have the four quarter arcs sized and uh, laid out and checked for proper dimensions. This gluing jig can also work as a pre-stressing uh, form for your cove molding. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.